Hello everyone. This video's topic will be on using VMware ARIA operations for logs with VMware Cloud on AWS. If you already aren't familiar with VMC and AWS, it is a jointly engineered service between VMware and AWS that brings VMware software-defined data center features and capabilities to AWS Cloud's bare metal infrastructure. The integration between ARIA operations for logs and VMC and AWS allows users to manage and view audit and authentication logs, monitor the NSX firewall, and monitor the status of their virtual machines. Let's dig in. Now let's start by reviewing what you get when you sign up for VMC and AWS from an ARIA logs perspective. Once a new VMC and AWS SDDC is spun up, you get a complementary instance of ARIA logs SAS. This complementary instance starts as a trial subscription for 30 days. VMware Cloud and AWS users get 50 gigabytes per day of ingestion and access to all of the standard ARIA logs SAS features, including all dashboards, retention, partitioning, and other premium features. After 30 days, if you don't sign up for a premium subscription, you are dropped down to a free ARIA log SAS subscription. This free subscription has no expiration, but it is slightly limited in the features versus the premium version. As you can see, there's no log archiving, no partitions, no tail, and you are limited to a total of one gigabyte per day of ingestion for VMware Cloud on AWS NSXT firewall logs, VMware Cloud Services Platform audit logs, and non-VMware logs. You are also able to query events up to seven days. And then as we can see here, this gives a little more information on what you can expect with a freemium version of ARIA Logs Cloud. And then if you decide to sign up for a premium subscription, you are given access to all of the ARIA Logs SaaS features that come with the product. And then ingestion is based on the selected rate that you are paying. Now let's take a look at exactly what you get for audit logs once you sign up for VMC and AWS. Since this is a cloud service, you do get a smaller subset of ESX and vCenter logs. You can expect to get ESXi audit events, vCenter audit events, NSXT audit events, NSXT firewall and packet log events, user-driven activity events, VMC notification gateway events, VMware site recovery events, and NSXT IDS IPS events. And these gray boxes here show you exactly what you're getting as far as the query that is run to pull the event. So if you're expecting to get things like host logs or host hardware logs, you will not get that since that is the responsibility of AWS being the cloud provider. No user configuration is needed to integrate VMC and AWS with ARIA Log SAS. It is done automatically once a new VMC on AWS SDDC is spun up. If you want to know if your VMC logs are flowing into your ARIA Logs instance, you can go to the Log Explorer and just search VMC. And you can see here we have some VMC logs coming in. So now that we know that's working, we can check out our dashboards. If we go to our dashboard section and we search VMware Cloud, we have our Audit Events Content Pack and our NSXT Events Content Pack. These two content packs will show either Audit Events or NSXT Events from specifically VMC on AWS. So I have a custom dashboard here prepared. And in this dashboard, we have a good amount of useful information. We could see how many events each user is running, events per user type, login events, which are very important, logout events, of course, all kinds of different audit events for what different users are doing in the VMC environment, events per virtual machine, bad username events if somebody's trying to log in with a bad username, and audit events if an alarm status has changed. So this is if your CPU or memory alarms have changed from green to yellow or green to red or vice versa. So now let's drill down a little deeper on one of these dashboards. We'll check out our alarm status changes. We view the log query. We can see that we have an alarm for our virtual machine CPU usage changing from yellow to red. So this is increasing and you do get an event for it. And then if we want to go to types, it looks like in the past 48 hours, 15 events were triggered, about 40% of our events, showing that we had virtual machine CPU usage go from red to green. We had some virtual machines recover from high CPU usage. So it looks like in the past 48 hours, a lot of our virtual machines have finished whatever workloads they've been doing, and the alarms have been going from red to green. Next, we will drill down into our NSXT events for our VMC and AWS SCDC. So if we search for VMware Cloud, we see our NSXT events dashboards. And let's take a look at our distributed firewall traffic. 
So in the last 48 hours, this blue shows our top source IP address firewall rule, our top destination, and then application ports permitted. It looks like we've permitted 443. So if we drill down a little further, we have our list of firewall events. And if we want to condense it into types, we can do that. And here we have our different firewall rules organized into types. So we have 45 events that show this IP address in this port <coughs> is hitting this IP address in this port. If you want to create your own queries and dashboards to get a custom view of your VMC environment and what's going on with the events, all you have to do is add a filter. And then we search VMC. And here are the list of all of the filters, which are extracted fields that you can use to build your queries and your dashboards. These are the same filters that are being used to build the out-of-the-box dashboards, but we let you use them to create custom content if you wish. So if you need some specific information for your environment, as long as it's logged, you can write a query on it and create a dashboard on it. So that's our overview on event logging in ARIA Operations for Logs Cloud for VMC and AWS.